Today I am very excited to be reviewing and lux testing this light that many of you have been asking for. In fact, the Firehawk LED headlight is among the top requested lights I've received so far from you, my viewers of this channel. And now we get to see how it performs. Hello everyone and welcome to Car Light Reviews. If you've never been here before, I perform consistent automotive light tests to help you make the best purchase decision. And according to your comments in my previous test videos, you're starting to trust my consistent testing methods. So I'm glad that I can help people cut through the marketing fluff and let the actual light output data tell the story. Also, according to the comments you've left, you want to see my review and test the latest lights from Firehawk. Well, you got it, so let's get started. And like my other LED light tests, I'm going to do an introduction, an unboxing, go over the published specs, cover some of the features, and then I'll test the brightness and light pattern for both projector and reflector housings to see how it performs. So let's take a look. Comes with a standard manual, but this is plug and play. So it covers support and how to contact them if you need them. All right, let's talk about the published specifications. 31 watts each, which is oddly specific, 7,500 lumens each, 6,000 K color temperature. It has a CSP chip, an IP rating of 68. The hour rating is the typical 50,000. It does have an adjustable collar. It does have a fan to, for heat management. And it is, as you can see, an all-in-one unit, so it has an internal driver, and it has a warranty of two years. And the price at the time of this video, before any discounts, is $69.99 a pair. So here's my initial observations. As you can see, it's got a nice red anodized finish. It looks pretty good on that. Rather standard materials, nothing jumps out at me. It does have a compact fan, which is going to have me a little bit concerned when it comes to measuring the temperature, which I will later on in this video. It just has a standard all-in-one design, pretty compact overall. And the more I looked at this one, the more I'm reminded of the Hikari Hyperstar that I previously tested on this channel, and I'll put a link to that video in the description below if you want to check it out. But if you look at this one, the Firehawk, and the Hikari Hyperstar side by side, well, they're not exactly the same, but there are some similarities. And it appears they may even be using the same components in certain places and have a very similar overall design. Now, it's no secret that many lighting products out on the market, or consumer products in general, often come out of the same factories even though they have different brands. And there's nothing wrong with that. And that happens more than most people are aware of. Now, I don't know for sure, but that may also be the case here. You can easily see the similarities. But what's important here is how they compare in terms of brightness. Well, let's find out. Here's how I perform my LED headlight tests. For projector testing, I made a test rig using a 2017 Toyota Camry H11 headlight projector. And for reflector testing, I use an H11 headlight from a 2018 Ford F-150. I use these specifically because they are among the best-selling vehicles in America for over 20 years and are the most common on the road. I'll power the lights using a benchtop power supply, and I'll position the lights hotspot onto a lux meter that is 20 feet away, mounted on my garage door. I'll record the initial brightness and then again after 27 minutes to document how well the light manages heat. I use 27 minutes because that's the average commute time in the United States. My tests aren't for lux number accuracy, but for comparison to a stock H11 halogen bulb, which measures 725 projected lux and 910 reflected lux using my test method. Different tests in different environments will give you different results. So if you want to do the same tests of your own, I list all of the equipment I use in the description of this video. Be sure to check the description of this video for some important notes on aiming headlights, how to ensure you've picked the right headlight for your application, and the legality of replacing halogen bulbs with LEDs like this one. And I'd also like to mention, I do have a Patreon page. If you found this video valuable, you can support this channel for as little as a dollar a month. And that's it. And you can get some car light review swag if you support the channel. Check out my Patreon page below. Now, let's see how the Firehawk LED headlight performed in my testing. For the projector, 1,332 lux, 607 over the halogen 725 lux. Rather impressive. After 27 minutes, it retains 88% of that light output, making it 1,172 lux, or 447 over halogen. And looking at the projector light pattern compared to stock, it does get a little fuzzy right here near the middle top. I do notice that it has a very low cutoff compared to the hot spot, which is a good thing. And down here in the common weak spot, it seems a little bit more pronounced than other lights I've tested, but it's also probably as a result of that high lux reading. Now let's take a look at the reflector. The reflector comes in at 2,280 lux, 
1,370 over the Halogen 910 Lux. And after 27 minutes at 88% retention, it is reduced to 2,006 Lux, 1,096 over Halogen. And looking at the reflector light pattern compared to stock, pretty decent considering the brightness. I've got a little bit of scattering here, and this common spot right here is a bit more pronounced, and I'm not really sure why. It's not terrible, and it shouldn't go into somebody's eyes unless your headlights are aimed very, very poorly. So make sure you aim your headlights properly, as always. And as I mentioned, there is a published rating of 31 watts per light. I observed 29 watts, just two less than published. Not bad. And for heat management, after 27 minutes, my laser thermometer recorded 122 degrees for the main unit at the hottest point. So it does do a very good job at managing heat, despite my concerns over it having a smaller sized fan. So here's something interesting. I want to go back to the comparison to the Hikari Hyperstar I mentioned earlier. And one thing I noticed that in addition to them looking similar in design and materials, I was even more surprised that my testing resulted in them keeping the exact same percentage of light output after 27 minutes, 88%. On top of that, they also had the same temperature after 27 minutes, 122 degrees. Now that seems like a really interesting coincidence, don't you think? It might be just that, a coincidence. However, the Firehawk did perform better than the Hikari Hyperstar, according to my tests. 144 lux brighter in the projector and 260 lux brighter in my projector test. But the Firehawk is also $15 less expensive per pair, again, not including discounts, than the Hikari Hyperstar. Now, if you are on the fence between the two, I would personally, myself, suggest the Firehawk over the Hikari if you're looking at my test data alone. As always, links to where you can buy the Firehawk LED are in the description. And you can also find a link in the description to a free spreadsheet that I update with every video release that shows the specs and results of all of the lights I've tested, so you can compare this light to the other ones in one easy view. And once again, I've got a Patreon page, as little as a dollar a month, and you can support this channel. And if that's not something you want to do now, at least subscribe, hit the bell, and let me know you want to see more, because I've got more videos just like this one on the way, at least one released each week on average. And of course, if you have a suggestion on what I should test in the future, just like this light, which a lot of you suggested, please leave a comment, and I'll check into it. And as always, thank you very much for watching. I hope this video helps you find the right lighting upgrades for your needs so you can enjoy your car more. Keep your headlights aimed, drive safely, responsibly, and respectfully.